What's up, everyone? This is Joe Sorrentino in New England RC. Got another great product to show you today. I just picked up this high speed boat remote control amphibious hovercraft. My first hovercraft, and it comes from CIS Associates. I've always wanted to have a hovercraft. I've always been curious to see how they work. I know they can be a little on the loud side, which is why I've been reluctant to buy one. But this one, I don't know, it really spoke to me. It was appealing. The price was right. I happened to get it at a good sale price and it seemed like a good idea. So we're gonna unbox this and we're gonna look at everything here. We're gonna see how it works and then we'll give it a nice rip. Let's go. All right, looking at the box. It says here that we got 2.4 gigahertz race head to head. You can go on land and water. That's one of the cool things about the hovercrafts that they're not just for water. You can try them in land as well. Four direction racing. That ought to be interesting. Back in the box, we talk about how to charge the batteries, where to put the batteries. We show you how the turning mechanisms work on this radio control. And it's very basic operations. And it's also not a hobby grade RC vehicle. This is a toy grade. So expectations are low right off the bat because I know that it's not something that I'll be able to upgrade and replace parts if things get broken. You kind of get what you get and that's it. But that's all right. It seemed like a good thing for the price and I thought it'd be fun to feature on New England RC. Let's open it up. I like the inner insert here with the hovercraft on land there showing what it can do. It's a nice looking vehicle, huh? It's nice and big. All right, so we got this strapped in here. Yeah, that frees up my remote control. That is a very cheap looking remote. Cheap plastic, but again, toy grade. I don't have high expectations, but as long as it works and looks cool, then we're happy. But on off switch, power button, Left and right, I guess it's four directions. Pretty simple. We'll see how that works. The batteries go under here. We'll get the batteries for that in a minute. This is another indicator that it's toy grade. When you have a screw like this and it doesn't just slide out, that's how you know too. I'm sure that's a big giveaway too, just the fact that it's really cheap looking plastic. But if you didn't guess that it was toy grade by that, then you can definitely know when you see that you have to unscrew the uh, bottom too. That's the other clue. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Now I got two things here. Those off. And there you go. So here's the boat, guys. You can see how flat this is without the air. Once uh, you turn this on, the air fills the chamber. You can see on the bottom here where it is. Looks like there's some styrofoam packed in there. Yeah, basically this just fills up with air and then it makes a lot of noise because it's these two fans that power it. And uh, and then you can scoot along as you go. It's cool looking, I really like it. It's good size. I would say it compares to like a 1 12th scale vehicle. And it comes with its own charger, very basic stuff here. You just plug this in, charge it. Interesting too guys, there was no manual, no booklet for instructions, just this here on the back. That's it for instructions. So. Not a whole lot to go over. Just another reason it's toy grade, you know? There's no parts, there's nothing you're gonna do. Hope it don't break, because if it breaks, you're out of luck. <laughs> That's it. But we'll see, hopefully we'll get a good couple runs out of it before anything happens, and uh, we'll get to test it out. All right, let me grab the screwdriver. Let me do this. Yeah, it works a lot better with a screwdriver. Good. We have power. Does it just go in like this? Oh, that's how it works. You just charge it like this. You charge the whole unit. This is kind of like those uh, Team Associate vehicles that I have. The battery's already built in. So I just need an AC adapter, plug it in, charge it that way. I'm just reading it here. It shows you here. It says, you know, you can turn left, you can turn right, but you also can turn right in reverse and you can turn left in reverse. That's what they mean by four directions. So, and then of course it's straightforward backwards. So you got 
all those things. And I'd also like to point out that it says here to remove excess water, hold race boat vertically with rudder pointing down and shake gently. There it is from the picture you can see guys. That's how you get your excess water out so that way you don't do any damage to the vehicle when you're done using it. All right guys, I just charged this bad boy up. Let's just give it a quick little test right here on the table. I just want to see how it works and then uh, we'll get it in the water and give it a real test, all right? Oh, yeah, see that? I get the air coming out and I turn it even without the throttle. Forward, reverse. Hmm. Well, that's an idea anyway. Let's go get it in the water and see what this thing really can do. Here we go. Neat. Kind of slow, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not much for speed. They call it a speed boat, but <laughs> about what you'd expect for toy grade. But it's cool. It's more novelty for me. I just like the idea of it. Yeah, it's really slow though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see it spin. <laughs> Nowhere near as fast as my speed boats, but you know, for what it is, it's fun, it's cool. I think my nieces will love it because <laughs> it's big and it's funny. It's like a bumper boat. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wouldn't want to take this to a river or an, or an ocean. Fine for a swimming pool, though. Like I said, it's toy grade, low expectations, but fun for what it is. And I guess it's not terribly noisy. It's a little noisy, but not as bad as I was expecting. I know that there's other hover boats out there you can buy that are much louder than this. So this ain't gonna wake the neighbors. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can get it to move on this tile table here. Nope. Not even a little. <laughs> I guess it needs to be super, super smooth ground to go on the ground. How about a glass table? Ooh, it's kind of moving on its own. I don't think my table's level, but it's kind of gliding here. All right. Just, it's like an air hockey puck. <laughs> oh, a <laughs> oh, little bit of movement. Mm -hmm. Cement ground here, so <laughs> I wasn't expecting much. <laughs> Try one more time on here. It's 
about as good on cement as it does on this tarp covered air hockey table. Maybe if the tarp wasn't on it. <laughs> Well, I thought maybe on this carpet it would be our way, but it's got to be really smooth ground. How about grass? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to work. There you go. Oh, Simon. It works. It's not bad on the hardwood floor. Simon's like, what the hell? <laughs> Simon is so curious. He's like, what the hell is that? Huh, oh, bud? Works good on hardwood floor. About the same as in the water. Yeah! What do you think, bud? What the hell is that? <coughs> I know, it's scary. Can't decide what to do, huh, bud? <laughs> How's it run on the tile? Yeah, it works on tile. Nope. Didn't like that rug though. No, oh, couldn't jump off the lip there, huh? Yeah. Who's there? There, a little more in the water here. This is kind of fun. Yeah, boy. So that's going to do it for today, folks. So I looked it up again today, and the uh, company that I purchased this from was called Sporties. So um, if you're looking for one of these for yourself, you can find them on Amazon. I picked this up for about 65 bucks. If you go on eBay, I actually think they're even more expensive. So check the Amazon site because uh, it's a better deal, I think. Uh, the main appeal to this thing was it reminds me of the Tyco RC hovercrafts that used to be sold at Radio Shack when I was a kid. And I always wanted one back then, but never got one. So this here reminded me so much of that. And for the price, I figured, hey, why not give it a shot? And so that kind of brought that childhood memory back for me. Um, so it's a fun little toy. It doesn't work super well. It's not that fast. It's hard to steer. It's a little big and clunky. Really low expectations going into it. And that was the result as well. But for the price, what the heck? And I'm sure the kids will love it. My nieces, they'll have a ball with this. So anyway, I think if you're looking for something cheap and fun, it's a great little toy. Don't expect much, but if you want something that kind of gives that old vintage look and that old memory, you know, why not give it a shot for the price? So 
If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell to stay updated on when my next video becomes available. Until then, this is Joe Sorrentino saying thanks for watching. See you on the next one.